Hi, in this video, we are going to see the testing procedure for contact resistance. And before going to the testing procedure, I am going to discuss a few questions. Why we are using DC current and how much the rating of the current we have to inject. First, we will see why we use DC current for contact resistance. If you use a AC current for finding contact resistance, then you have to go for finding RMS value for AC and also in AC current we will have the inductance value on it. So the voltage drop will be little higher than the DC current when we compare to AC. When you go for DC current it will be very easy to find the resistance value when we compare to AC. So we are going for DC current for finding contact resistance. Next. If you see why we use 10 to 15 percentage of rated current of the equipment to find the contact resistance. On this, if you increase the current or if you give the nominal current value, then the conductor is going to have a heat. If the conductor is going to produce heat, then the resistance of the conductor is definitely going to change. So in order to get the actual value we are going for 10 percentage of this rated current of the design of the system and in some case 10 percentage will be much lesser so on that case we can extend up to 15 percentage next we will see the procedure for contact resistance first of all you have to go for visual inspection you have to check the component after that you have to go for wiping this contact where you are going to make the clip because if we have a dust or some foreign particle over that contact when you make the current injection over that area we will have additional resistance due to this dust and foreign particles so we have to clean it by using a white cloth next make the barricade around your testing area this is very much important for safety purpose some unknown person while you are doing test they should not touch this equipment not to that avoid this we have to make a barricade next make the current clamp over the outer area that is the where we want to find this contact resistance just outside this area we have to make, make the current clamp then make the voltage clamp on inside the current path or you can make the nearer to the joint the to contact joint also you can make nearer to that point but we should not put this voltage clamp to the current we should not connect current and voltage together because when open and close up the current of this kit when the current going to cut on on and off at this stage there are going to be a very high voltage going to be produced sometime this voltage will affect on the voltage clamp so in order to avoid this we should not connect the voltage clip directly to the current we have to make some space between voltage and current always voltage should be inside the current path like this this is our injecting dc current and our voltage clamp should be inside the current clamp the voltage and current clamp should not touch each other we can also put this voltage clamp nearer to the nearer to the our joining area also no problem for this but we should not touch with current clamp after completing this test for all three phases we have to compare their test result if the bus bar or any conductor having same length then the value of the test report should not exist lesser or greater than 50 percentage in this example, I am going to show one example. In this system, 
the length of the bus bar is same but when we go for conductor stunts the y face having higher than the 50 percentage similar case we should not accept the test we have to go for checking the tightness of joint of other two faces all three should comes the tolerance in difference range should be in 50 percentage if it is not able to we are not able to make equal also no problem but it should be inside this difference value in some case the client expert 20 percentage it depend upon the client but maximum we have we can go up to 50 percentage this is the procedure for doing contact resistance if you think this video is useful for your friends you can share this video to them thank you for watching this video